There's a lot on the line here, Holly. LSU has won 29 straight home games. South Carolina has won 27 straight road games. Number one, South Carolina. Number nine, LSU. Here we go from Baton Rouge. Certainly a matchup to keep an eye on is Angel Reese on Camilla Cardoso. Angel Reese, vitally important for her to stay out of trouble, out of foul trouble, but staying aggressive. Here is Reese coming up with a steal as she fronted Cardoso. Reese through the lane, can't lay it in. Wanted a whistle, did not get it. Reese makes more free throws per game than any player in Division One. Unable to get a trip to the line there. And South Carolina on the board first. Bree Hall, as you take a look at that starting lineup for South Carolina. Here's Flange Johnson. Around the Reese screen, the pull-up is good. That is what LSU loves to do. Get the ball to the wing, set the high ball screen. Great job by Flaugé Johnson to drill it. Flaugé's game much improved. A sophomore who had a terrific freshman season. Here's Cardoso. Double comes. Van Lith yanks it away. Dawn Staley in her 16th season as head coach of South Carolina, two-time champion. Talked about this being a budding rivalry between these schools. South Carolina has won 14 straight meetings against LSU. That three is good. Anissa Morrow with a step back three. And Kivalki fired up already. Anissa Morrow only shooting 18% from three on the season. Here's Kitts, the ball fake, the take, and the finish. Trying to play the point more, where she was an off guard. And at Louisville. Here's Hall over to Johnson. Johnson travel. Huge that Morrow hits. And Kim <laughs> Mulkey's feeling that as well. You almost need an ISO on Mulkey the whole game. You know? <laughs> the Mulkey cam? The Mulkey cam. Here's Johnson. Johnson trying to get tricky in traffic. Flings it across. Williams. Back iron, no. But Kayla Williams, one of the best freshmen in the country. A class that is loaded with transcendent talent as kids able to hook it in. You see LSU sprinting back. Transition defense is so vitally important. Here's Reese facing up, blowing by, reversing off. Trying to get it back, Cardoso knocked her away, and Kitts ends up with it. That's where her advantage is in that matchup, is facing up and putting the ball on the floor. That tapped out of bounds for Kim Mulkey in just her third season as head coach of LSU. An astonishing turnaround since she has taken this program over last year, just her second season, leading LSU to its first national championship. Pow, pow. No. And Morrow the rebound. Here's Flaugé. Gives it to Reese. Reese lost it. Has Van Lith. Van Lith is step back off the mark. And the weak side rebound to Hall. Raven Johnson pushing pace for South Carolina. Hall a deep three off the mark. South Carolina number one in D1 in three-point shooting percentage. Williams pull up is good. The off the dribble game is so smooth. Here's Johnson motoring in, leaning and hitting. Raven Johnson has had a tremendous sophomore season thus far. A player who, as we saw with Iowa, you played completely off of a season ago. Morrow again. First time she's hit two threes in a game this season. Kids will answer. South Carolina has so many weapons from the perimeter. And you have to just applaud Chloe Kitts waiting her turn. The improvement she has shown from a season ago to this season is remarkable. I think that's a testament to Dawn Staley as well, that her players patiently waited and developed 
seeking their opportunity, finally getting it with that graduating class and delivering thus far this season. Stopped by Don Staley's practice. Don has just been glowing about it for weeks afterwards. She said it was such an incredible moment for her team to see the vice president on their court. Kamala Harris said thank you for what you do on and off the court with excellence and complimented the team on how they carry themselves. Don Staley said it's truly a, a dream come true. Uh, an awesome experience for South Carolina, and I'm sure for the vice president as well. As Morrow finishes on the interior, she has eight first quarter points. Chloe Kitts with seven for South Carolina. Malaysia Full Wiley, the electrifying freshman, into the game off the bench for the game Gamecocks. South Carolina shooting 71%. Turnovers have just been a problem with, for them so far. They have three already. Here's Paul Wiley at three. Airmailed it. And Reese comes up with a rebound for LSU. Here's Williams left alone. No. Rebound knocked away by Johnson and Morrow cleans it up. The effort from Plage for Wiley zips in, stops on a dime, and traveled as she did. Sonia Fagan into the game for South Carolina. Van Lip with 10 to shoot, looking in for Reese. Draws two. Reese clips it in, plus the foul. Well, Angel Reese leads Division One in free throw attempts and makes per game as she completes the three-point play there. That is the strength of LSU in general. They are by far and away number one in the nation in free throw makes per game. In fact, the difference between them and number two, the same as the difference between number two and number 77. Off to Morrow, back to Williams. Here's the freshman. The mid-range is true. Hall missed it. Again, another one of those kind of you know one-on-one -on -one looks. Off to Reese. To the corner, Williams. A little too strong. Here's Johnson banking it in. See, the largest deficit that South Carolina's faced this season was 11. Great job by LSU giving their crowd a reason to be involved. Dan Litt can't scoop it in, but got the foul. Especially how hard you have to play against South Carolina in terms of sprinting and defensive transition. Be interesting to keep an eye on LSU's fatigue. South Carolina fourth in Division One in bench points per game as Reese comes up with the old board. Van Lee connects on a three, plus the foul away from the wall. LSU basketball. And Van Lee throws it away. Easy for Cardoso. Johnson's pull up is short. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Reese. And other than that one possession where she got double teamed inside, I don't know how many times she's touched him on the block. I don't think at all. Kids, nasty crossover, rummages through and finishes. Where would South Carolina be without her? Van Lid, harassed by Johnson. Off to Reese, her mid-range. No, Morrow, another offensive rebound. Williams. Back iron, no, another old board, a setup for Johnson. Her side stepping three won't go. Another offensive rebound. How about Van Rith? No, another. Uh uh, that one's knocked out of bounds. Mulkey said that was LSU's key in this game. Don Staley said that was South Carolina's key to keep LSU off the offensive glass. They have six O boards. Pow pow at the buzzer. Knocks in a three and cuts the deficit to six after one. Meanwhile, LSU did not sub in that first quarter, and their starters remain on the floor to begin the second. And hitting the offensive glass every single time takes energy. Here is Kicks flashing open. It's at nine first quarter points. Kitts lobs it inside to Cardoso. Cardoso unable to finish over Morrow. But that time, a better job wanting the basketball, as Don Staley mentioned, demanding it, looking for it. Kayla Williams dumps it down. Reese, good position, and the flip. Reese 
Reese with five points, four rebounds, and three assists. And a foul here against Van Litt. Last loss for the Gamecocks. Came back in 2012 in Baton Rouge. Kitts able to claw it away and get the foul. Yeah. Kitts unable to hit the first free throw. And hits the second. Here's Morrow, the crossover that was left alone, couldn't finish it. Reese on the follow, no, and a whistle against South Carolina. Already more rebounds tonight for Reese than she had in these teams' meetings last season. As Reese lays it in off the inbound from Van Lee. Here's Kitts. And again, Kitts able to get the whistle. Oh, nifty little catch there from Kitts afterwards as well. The first on Angel Reese. And Kitts misses that free throw badly. As you see Cardoso on the bench. For LSU, Angel Reese, and Isamoro, Flage Johnson, Michaela Williams, and Haley Van Lith. Their starting five remains on the floor. Here's Williams. Oh, what a look inside, and Reese lays it in. A sensational pass. This match is the largest deficit South Carolina has faced this season. Johnson spinning and hitting. Raven Johnson has had a few momentum-settling buckets already in this first half. Meanwhile, Reese has the last six for LSU. Same play, box overload again. And again, Reese able to grab and lay. Reese, 11 points, six rebounds, three assists. Pow, pow. Dumps it down. Fagan sheds Reese and banks it home. Here's Van Lith. Here it is again. Morrow. And a three-second violation call. And so what happens? This is the next play. Same box overload, same result. They just ran it for a third time, but we're looking for a high post drive. Pow Pow couldn't finish. LSU finally goes to their bench. Uh, Leah Del Rosario into the game. Here's Johnson on the drive, lays it in. See how Kitts and Johnson have got it done for South Carolina. Rest of the team has struggled inside. Fagan, the athletic forward and put back. But again, the lack of sharing the basket. Reese fading away. Can't get it in. Del Rosario banks it home. Plus the foul. The number seven overall recruit of this freshman class. According to us at ESPNW, his kids last touched it. By the way, you know, a lot of times we walk into arenas and they're cold. In fact, the audience may not know this, but you often have a sweatshirt draped over your legs during a broadcast. This arena is sweltering as Fola Wiley goes dashing in with the layup. These last three and a half minutes are going to be important for both of these teams because South Carolina can score quickly, especially on opportunities where they get steals or defensive boards in push and transition. Oh, Raven Johnson, you who came up with another right on cue. LSU lost a key piece of the rotation late November. Samaya so Smith, who had been averaging nearly 12.7 and a half rebounds per game for ACL. Reese. Nearly throws it away. Good pressure from Phil Wiley. Here's Reese. The mid-range. Short. She was looking to uh, pass, but then she saw that the shot clock was ticking down. Phil Wiley glides in, dishes out, gets it back, will take, and hit from three. Williams back to Reese. Williams pull up. Line drive attempt, no good. For Wiley, look out from behind, had it poked by Johnson. Flage Johnson lays it in. Pow, 
Powell, probing, dishing to the corner. Johnson in and out. Good effort on the glass from Fagan. No whistle. Here comes Reese. 130 to go in the first half. Flage. Cardoso, deep catch, got banged and still finished. A chance for three for Camila Cardoso. Number one on Flage, only player on LSU with two is Anissa Morrow. Watkins and Fagan with two apiece for South Carolina. Cardoso hits the free throw. Haley Van Litt, 10 seconds left. Van Litt's floater won't go. Rebound Johnson and still time for South Carolina now. Van Litt went too early. Here's Paul Wiley, connecting on a three. Huge finish to the second for South Carolina. They trail by only the second time South Carolina has trailed at the half this season. The other was against North Carolina on November 30th, the game they went on to win by seven. A turnover from LSU to begin this third quarter. Here's Pow Pow cutting through, flipping up and off. Rebound whacked out of bounds. Looks like it had last touched South Carolina. And they're going to say it deflected off LSU. Here's Cardoso, center of the lane, lays it in. That's a good start for South Carolina. Great job. LSU's lead has been as large as 11. It's three now. Morrow's mid-range is good. Anissa Morrow showing her range in this contest. The DePaul transfer. Cardoso, Van Lift comes. Cardoso passes out of it. Here's Pow Pow. Back iron, no. Cardoso the rebound and a lot of contact. Van Lift gets whistled for the foul on the floor. 6-7, senior center. And they're going to call that on Angel Reese, her second. So thought it would be on Van Lift. Instead, it's Reese's second. Here's Kitts diving in. Can't bank it home. Loose ball. Raven Johnson has it. Her layup is good. And you can hear the South Carolina faithful here trying to get into it now. As Johnson gets called for the charge. Hall took the contact for South Carolina. And Kim Mulkey calling a timeout. After the momentum that has been built, certainly in recent years, but especially what we've seen over the last 12 months. Here's Hall. Off to Kitts. Kitts, shot clock fading, no problem for Chloe Kitts, who has 12. Picking up in some full court pressure, sometimes that's just a little extra to give your team energy. Reese gets swallowed up by Cardoso, gives a little stare afterwards, and her teammates like the fire. She has a different level of life here in this third quarter than we saw in the first half, both on the offensive and defensive ends. Crowd saw the replay, wanted a foul. Not sure there was a foul there as Morrow banks it in. Anissa Morrow now 14 points to lead the way for LSU. Angel Reese with 11 and 7 boards. Here's Cardoso. Denied by Reese. Williams. No. Much better job boxing out by South Carolina. Williams 2 of 10 from the floor as Pow Pow leaves it short. Morrow able to control the rebound. Reese separates and lays it in. The steal. Here's Van Lith. Van Lith weaving, taking. No. And not a great field goal attempt there from Haley Van Lith. 
Oh, what a find, and Kicks lays it in. Here's Williams fading. That one drops. Great dish inside, and then Reese, the emphatic rejection. Johnson. Rajay Johnson has been poised all night. Reese will take. And kick. 15 points, eight rebounds for Reese. Kicks swimming through. Nice dish. Cardoso on the follow. Yes. More impactful second half already from Cardoso. As Kitts comes up with a knock away. And Reese is going to get hit with her third foul. So personal number three on Angel Reese. Coach Mulkey turned to the bench and said, get Haley out. Haley has told me Kim coaches me hard, but I want that. She's getting coached hard right now on a couple of her poor decisions. Last tier, Poa. I got my pow pow and Poa on one another. There you go. This game. And Poa throws it away. Now Van Lith is going to go in and get Poa as Kim Mulkey immediately signals for Haley Van Lith to come back in. Angel Reese on the bench now after picking up that third foul. Can South Carolina take advantage? Here's Vegan into Cardoso. Cardoso cuts in for two. Camilla Cardoso is just really working so hard, demanding the ball. Poa trying to shed her defender and banks it in. Pow Pow, great feed, and Vegan had the corner turned, lays it in. 53-52, LSU in front, South Carolina, the lone remaining undefeated Division I team. Deflected out of bounds, stays here as Van Lit and Reese will come in for LSU. Van Lit into Johnson. Plage dips into a whistle. Del Rosario back in for LSU. Hall goes out for South Carolina. Williams, Van Lith, Flaugier, Johnson, Morrow, and then Del Rosario for LSU. Del Rosario has good size to go against Cardoso, and hopefully if you're LSU, you're trying to buy a last couple minutes where Angel Reese does not pick up another foul in this quarter. Pow, pow. Fagan looking down to the corner, extra feed. Pow, pow. Knocked away, what a steal for Morrow. Running the break with Van Lith. Van Lith spinning and finishing. Oh! Or maybe she's just having a tough day shooting. Paul on the drive. Can't flip it in. Loose ball. Knocked away. LSU has some time. Johnson will launch. Nearly got it to go, and that'll do it for the third. Here we go. The PMAC has been electrifying since long before tip. Cardoso bodying into Reese. Reese had to be careful. And it's out of bounds off of Williams to the chance here for South Carolina. Here's Paul. The ball fake, the attack. Couldn't bank it in. A good opportunity there for South Carolina. Unable to finish. Williams full out of steam. Nice setup there and a whistle. And I love that it was Anissa Morrow and Andrew Reese saying, no, we want to collaborate together. And Angel told me, Anissa's made me better by being here and practicing against me. You see the career for Morrow. Active rank at points per game. Rebounds, double-doubles, top three in all. Caitlin Clark, the leader in those points per game. Pow pow off to Johnson. Her jumper won't go, but a whistle underneath on Reese. Oh, and no. that is going to be her fourth. I don't think that's a good call. But Angel Reese is beside herself right now. She's so frustrated that she has to be out of the game right now. She was in the huddle trying to encourage her teammates. This is a lot of brand new faces out on four right now for LSU. One player from that national championship, Flaugier Johnson, in the moments right now. 
Of course, South Carolina also with a completely different team, or at least different roles for the incumbent players as Pow Pow flips it in. Morrow, great first step and lays it in. Pow Pow, she got it on a huge three. What did Dawn Staley tell us earlier today? She seeks the big moments. Dawn Staley saying she's never coached a guard like Pow Pow. Lauded her mental acumen and talked about the way she hunts big shots. What a finish. Same play. Same exact play that we saw that put Williams at the free throw line. All the other end. Denied. Morrow said no. Anissa Morrow just comes in and has great timing. Four-point LSU lead. Pow Pow cutting through the D. Gets swallowed up out of bounds. Last touch LSU. And... Paul's jumper is good. LSU is led by as many as 11. Morrow, difficult shot. Not a good decision. Pow, pow. Around the screen. Weaving, pow, pow. Can't bank it in. Got the whistle. Tahina, pow, pow. Will shoot two. Pow Pow makes it a one-point game. Well, Don Staley's saying, you know, she's like, unlike any guard I've ever coached. And when we asked Tahina about that, she said, that's what a point guard does. I organize this team and hold my teammates accountable. 61 all. Williams missed it badly. Hall flags it down. And here comes South Carolina. A chance to take the lead. Cardoso lays it in. South Carolina, it's first lead since it was 2-0 and Aaliyah Boston delighting in it. Don't wait any longer, Reese, back into the game. You would certainly expect her to get a touch on the offensive end considering she's in, and then South Carolina the other way will go right at her. LSU has won 29 straight home games. South Carolina, 27 straight road wins. Dan Lips spins. Difficult shot. Got it to go. Plus the foul. Corey's in good shape, so I'm sure he can handle it. As Van Lith. Pow Pow. Underneath Watkins, who's been quiet tonight. A big finish there. This game has uh, lived up to the hype. It certainly has. Van Lith with space, jitters, takes. Can't hit. Here comes Pow Pow. Watkins pushes a pass out of bounds. South Carolina, a 65-64 lead on LSU. The Gamecocks, the lone remaining undefeated team in Division I. Williams, the freshman, back to Reese. Williams in the corner. You can't. Her first three of the night had missed her first seven. And South Carolina throws it away. A patient possession here from LSU. Williams got fouled on the floor. Van Lee throws it away on the inbound. Here comes Johnson blurring into the front court, and that's number five on Reese. And it's the second time a poor Haley Van Lee pass has led to a Reese foul. Johnson hits the first. It's now on LSU. Have to try to get to the finish line without Angel Reese. As Johnson ties it. Off to Williams. Tied at 67. Williams three. Rims out. Williams supremely confident. Johnson the crossover, the kick. South Carolina's bench wanted Hall to take that three. She's been shooting the three ball really well this season. He did not pull. Here's Pow Pow. Hall will take that one. And hit. 
percent on the season and none bigger than that delivery. Here's Van Lynn looking for help. Morrow gets it back. Van Lynn coming. Coming. And it's tied at 70. They changed that timeout from South Carolina to LSU. So LSU is now out of timeouts. Interesting decision from Kim Mulkey. Here's Pow Pow dumping it down in the corner. Hall, she got it. Another three for Bree Hall. South Carolina back up by three. And LSU is out of timeouts. Here's Williams. Back to Van Lift to tie. No. Rebound Cardoso and a foul against Del Rosario. Got a 20-second difference game at shot clock here. So LSU can play straight up D. Johnson letting it wind. And now Don Staley's going to take a timeout. 16 on the shot clock, 36 seconds on the game clock. So LSU can play this straight up. Remember, the Tigers are out of timeouts. Don wants to be with an ear shot in case she needs to call a timeout. South Carolina still has two remaining. Here's Johnson. Eight to shoot. Johnson with five to shoot. Johnson on the attack. Johnson lays it in. Raven Johnson to the rescue. A five-point South Carolina lead, their largest of the night. You gotta go, LSU's gotta go. Van Lip fishing out, Williams three, no, rebound Cardoso, and that should do it. An incredible crowd here at Baton Rouge. They were in their seats. This place completely full an hour before tip. And for much of this game, LSU controlled. But down the stretch, South Carolina made the plays they needed to, and the Gamecocks remain undefeated. They come into Louisiana and outslug LSU 76-70 to the final.